This method can help answer key questions in the electrophysiology field, such as fluid flow induced regulations of ion channels. The main advantage of this technique is that it can estimate the actual ion concentration in the unstirred boundary layer of the membrane surface for data interpretation related to fluid flow regulation of ion channels. To begin this procedure, bend the fire glass capillary tube to form a U-shape. The inner diameter of the capillary should be large enough for reducing series resistance when recording large ion currents. Next, dissolve 3 grams of agarose in 100 milliliters of 3 molar potassium chloride and place it on a hot plate between 90 and 100 degrees Celsius. Then, load the bridge with the potassium chloride agarose by immersing the glass bridge in the solution. Keep it overnight at room temperature for the agarose to set and harden. The next day, carefully dig out the agarose potassium chloride loaded glass bridge from the hardened agarose salt. Store the bridge in a wide necked bottle of 3 molar potassium chloride in the refrigerator. In this procedure, place a container loaded with bathing solution above the patch clamp chamber. Next, Fill the patch clamp chamber with the bathing solution by suctioning the tube. To stop the fluid flow, clip the tube at the container side to block the fluid flow. Then clip the tube at the suction side to stop the suction at the same time. This is the stationary control condition.